Hi everyone, and welcome to today's session. In this video, we're going to take a look at the MEND integration into the new Jira security dashboard. We'll take a look at the installation steps, some of the best practices, and the value of performing this integration. My name's Luke, and I'm the sales engineer here at MEND. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, if we head over to docs.mend.io, we have technical guides to perform the integration of MEND into the Jira security dashboard. So first of all, take a look at this. It goes through the setup guide, which we're about to run through in a moment's time. With that, I'm going to head over to my Jira environment. The first thing I'd like to do is actually create a project. And in this project, I'm going to track all of the open SCA or dependency vulnerabilities to see how my application is performing over time. And of course, focus on the remediation of some of these issues. So if we go ahead and create a new project, I'm going to go and create a Kanban based project. And I'm going to use a template. From here, I'm going to use a company manage project. And let's use WebGoat as an example vulnerable application. Go ahead and create this project. Excellent. So now we can see a new plain project. So from here, we just need to go to project settings, head over to features on the left hand side, scroll down, and you should see under development, there is a security dashboard. So let's go ahead and enable this for the following project. Next, we need to head over to apps at the very top, click explore. From here, we can go ahead and search for MEND in the toolbar, select the MEND logo, and let's go ahead and get this application. Click on the get it now button, and you can see this will be added to your environment. Once that's been added, click on Get Started. It will then take you to the configuration page to activate your MEND installation within Jira. So to get the activation key, let's go back to our SCA environment. Here I'm signed on to my dashboard. Select the correct organization from the top. Here I'm going to use my pipeline CICD org. And all we need to do is go to admin in the top right, head down to issue tracker settings under integration, go ahead and generate a new license key for the issue tracker at the top of the page. Copy that key, let's minimize this tab and paste it back into the Jira page. Now at the very bottom, we've got two options here. The one we want to select is the very bottom which is to integrate MEND into the new Jira security dashboard. We do have another option, which is to create issues for a project. And this is based on our MEND policy engine. So if you use MEND and Jira before, you will know that it's policy driven. So we can trigger based on licenses or CVE scoring. But in this newer methodology, I'm going to use our security dashboard and show you some of the benefits of doing so. Let's go and register this application. Next, all we need to do is select the products from MEND to be included in the Jira instance. So here's all of my products for that environment. I'm going to go down to WebGo and get this added as an application. And we can add more applications where required for further mapping in a moment's time. And every time we add this new application, you can see the synchronization will take place in the background. Finally, let's head over to my WebGo project. And all we need to do now is map a security container to that WebGo application. Let's go to project settings. So go ahead and click on toolchain. And in the top right, you can see add, add a security container. And this is how we map, obviously, the MEND product to your security container. 
So go ahead and click on the MEND integration. From here, we can select the product and project. So remember the product was WebGo. And then we have all of my branches associated to that. I want to keep an eye on the develop branch. So I'm going to select WebGo develop. Let's go ahead and click add. And you can now see the product and project have been mapped to the WebGo project in Jira. Now, if we go back to our project, you can see under development, we now have a security tab. Go ahead and select security. And we can see all of our open vulnerabilities in Jira. So this is very similar to the vulnerability view in the SCA dashboard. But from here, we can track based on severity, the vulnerability itself, if this is an open or closed issue, the original detection date. We can click on the CVE to find more about this vulnerability, maybe some of the scoring and description around it. And as you'd expect, we can search at the top for any direct or indirect components listed here. And of course, as you remediate, you can simply review this dashboard and you should see the list of vulnerabilities for over time. I hope you found this video insightful. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you and goodbye.